Here I am going to explain the maintenance of tires during long drives. And this is one of the method to bring down the tire temperature and so the tire pressure. I tried to explain everything in detail so please watch the video completely and please subscribe and share if you really find my videos useful. So guys let's go. Hello guys good morning this is Srinivas. So today my topic is on tires. So what are the maintenance and care to be taken on tires during long drives? See people often go on long drives for hundreds of hundreds of kilometers. So actually what we do is we only bother about the engine temperature raising up or else the body temperature also about the AC. I mean it's get heated up. So the one thing which we forget about is the tires. We only tend to park the vehicle in the shade because of the engine temperature and also body temperature so that the body gets cool but we forget about the tires so today my topic is on tires so presently my vehicle is in park state for past two days so everything is pretty relaxed everything is in cool state engine body the tires etc so right now i'm opening my jk tire and uh, let's see what is the temperature and pressure right now so here it goes so it's morning and also vehicle is in cool state so see you can see the temperature and pressure the temperature on all, all wheels is around 24 degrees and the pressure is 33 30, 32 32 sorry 33 so now i'm going to drive for a few kilometers like around some 40 or 50 kilometers within the city and also speed won't be high it would be around max 70 to 75 because i'm driving in the city and i'll get back to you with the temperature and pressure differences we'll observe after driving for so and so kilometer so guys i'm back home so after driving for 50 to 55 kilometers and also speed between i mean below below 80 within the city limits so let's open the jk tire app here and see the temperatures and pressure ah, wow 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 you can see the front tires front tires is around 57 degrees celsius and also the psi increased to around 3 to 4 psi and rails are around 38 to 40 so wow the temperature is so high and also i was driving only for 52 kilometers and uh, took a pause around 15 to 20 minutes at one place had a cold drink and all but yet the temperature you can see the fronts are 57 and the rails are around 40 so why the front is so high so it's because of the engine heat see engine heat engine is also on the front side and also due to the engine heats it does affect on tires and so the temperature is so high here and i have set the limit up to 60 degrees celsius and uh, once it crosses 60 i'll get a warning on my jk so here you have to remember see while going on a long drive this would be on more higher end i was driving inside city and also it's only 50 50 kilometers so yet the temperature you can see and it's february it's uh of course the temperature here is 33 degrees right now so you can say if it's uh, may i mean april may where the temperature increases up to 40 45 degrees normal air temperature you can imagine the temperature is going too high on tires also so guys when you see the high temperatures and high pressure increase in your tires the first thing you have to do is cool down them and as per the tire manufacturers the time taken for the tires to get back to the ambient temperature or you say normal temperature is around 3 hours. And you can understand we can't keep waiting for 3 hours to tires get cooled down. So there are few options which can cool down the tires at a faster rate though it won't be bringing down the temperatures drastically. Firstly take a break after 2 hours of drive and try to park the vehicle in the shade if possible and let the tires get some rest along with their engine and body and now the second most useful feature is pouring the water on all your wheels yeah pouring water on wheels reduces the temperature of the tires and so the pressure this one is mostly done by the truckers yes you might have seen trucks parks aside on the highway and the guys pouring buckets of water on all the wheels so this is actually they are cooling the tires so by this the temperature and the pressure also reduces see if not what happens is at high temperatures the tire may get burst up as air inside the tire gets expanded due to the heat so the pressure increases hence you need to cool the tires this can be done by many ways one is resting 
the vehicle for some time around half an hour or so and second is pouring water on tires like I have shown and the third is driving on wet patches remember when driving on wet patches try to slow down your vehicle because there is a concern of aqua planning and it will be difficult for you to control the vehicle on high speeds slow better slow down while going on wet patches and one more point I want to say whenever you go and check up your tires well after a long drive some around two hours or three hours you might see increase in tire pressure from 3 to 5 psi but remember don't deflate them don't deflate them rather give some rest to the tires the temperature reduces and so the pressure also decreases and guys keep watching this video till the end because I am going to show you how I am cooling the tires so let's keep watching so guys here is my vehicle it's parked in hot sunlight unfortunately I couldn't find the shade and uh, I was driving for past one one and a half hour and also the temperature is so high outside it's 34 degrees right now here I'm going to show you how to cool your tires at a faster rate presently my vehicle is so hot and also engine is hot so here the easiest way to cool your tires is by pouring water over them so I'm going to show you that so though I'm carrying only a water bottle just to show you but pour water as per your convenience in turn the temperature of the tires reduces and so the pressure decreases and remember don't deflate the tires when you find your pressure is so high it's actually because of the long drive so guys here you can follow these steps now I'm going to pour water on my wheels this helps in reducing the temperature of the tires and so the pressure follow these steps on all the wheels this helps in maintaining the tires in summers and long drives try to pour ample water on all the wheels and also if you have time you do it twice within a gap of 15 20 minutes or before starting your journey back so friends hope you liked my video if you really did please like share and subscribe thank you and have a